All right, so again, we are recording if you just joined us, but um, I can't see you or hear you, so the recording will just be of me. So again, this is the Kids Who Cook program today, and we are making egg muffins. Uh, I'm going to show you what ingredients you need right now and then give um, a minute or so in case people need to run and get anything. Um, so basic tools, you're gonna need a bowl. Um, I have a whisk, but you could also use a spoon or a fork um, to mix things up. I will be cutting things today. I didn't pre-cut pre any of my ingredients um, just so that we could make or act like we were making this from scratch. So um, I have a knife. If you have an adult um, with you, have them help you with that knife. A muffin pan. Um, you can either use, if you want to grease down your muffin pan, you can use cooking spray or I'm going to use these reusable um, muffin cups or if you have the not reusable like cupcake liners, you can use those as well. Um, so those are all like the tools that you need. As far as ingredients go, I have basic salt and pepper. Of course, eggs because we're making uh, muffin cups or egg muffins. I have shredded cheese. Um, and then from here, it kind of doesn't matter what you have. It's just whatever fillings you want to put in your egg muffins. So I have, um, I'm going to put some diced ham in mine, which is already cut up. Um, I'm going to put some green pepper. Some, I kind of started the onion already just because I'm not going to put a whole one, but I have some onion. Uh, and then I'm going to put some cherry tomatoes in mine. You are free to add more than that or less than that. Um, and then just so you know, I'm going to use six eggs today. But if you want to make a double batch and use 12 eggs, you definitely can um, just up your ingredients. And then for the um, homemade butter, which hopefully we'll get to, I did a test run today and it was really fun to make it. So um, hopefully we can at least start the process. You'll probably have to finish it when the program is over. But all you need for that is heavy whipping cream. Mine's still in the fridge since we're going to do that at the end um, and then see if I can reach it with my cord. A mason jar with a lid. You're going to do some shaking for that. So that's what you'll need for the homemade butter. So I'm going to give everybody a second to um, get ingredients if you need any more. I'm going to wash my hands one more time before we start and then we'll kind of get going. So if you need a couple more ingredients or tools, feel free to grab them now um, and then wash your hands if you haven't done so already and we will get started. So I'm gonna, again, if you missed it, I'm connected by headphones and a cord. All right, and I am going to be turning my computer screen. So you'll mostly be seeing the ingredients and what I'm doing um, and then and not really as much of my face, but I'll be checking the chat and the, the questions as we go. Um, so if you just joined us, we're just about to get started making everything. Um, I just listed the ingredients and washed my hands. So the first step um, while we're kind of waiting for everybody to get ready is to preheat your oven to 375. So get everybody for a second for that. Remember the chat and Q&A function is down at the bottom of your screen if you have questions. All right. I'm going to guess that everyone is ready. Um, if you're not or need a second, feel free to let me know. Um, I will be trying to go as slow as possible as I know you're all following along at home. Um, so the first step that we are going to do is we're going to cut up our ingredients. So I am going to welcome to my kitchen at home. I am going to move my computer and then all right, so it might take me a second or two to see your chat down there. Um, my partner Ted is texting me if something comes up. So um, just wait a second if you do have something. I'm gonna start with my onion. Um, I don't really love onion, but other people in my house do. And so we're gonna cut up a little bit for our egg muffins. Um, again, if your stuff is already cut, great. Or have an adult help you cut. You can make things as big or as small as you want. These are your eggs or your egg muffins. We're really excited to have these for breakfast this week after I'm done making them tonight. Um, we normally just eat cereal and oatmeal for breakfast here. So this will be a nice treat. 
Um, and just so you know, if you do enjoy this program, we're doing it every other month. The next one is in December, and I think the registration's open. If not, it'll open November 1st, um, but we're making homemade brownies. So not from, the, oh, I just flew an onion. Um, not from a box, which I'm really excited about. I made them once during quarantine and they turned out so good. We're gonna make them with you all. So sign up for that one as well. The ingredients are already listed. I'm crying from this onion already. Um, and so I'm using six eggs, so I'm just kind of guessing um, how many or how much cut up ingredients I might need. If you're using 12 eggs, um, you might want a little bit more. If you like a lot of stuff in your breakfast, you um, also might want more. Definitely crying over here. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the onion only because I don't wanna cry anymore. Um, and I'm gonna move on to my green pepper. I'm just gonna leave everything on my cutting board for now. Um, and also if you haven't washed your veggies, um, I did before we started, but if you haven't washed your veggies, um, please do that in the sink. And I have to clean out my green pepper. I do have my garbage can right here as well. So all ready to go. And I'm just going to rinse this out really quick. So one moment. Okay. Check that we are good on chat. We are. If I made these next time, I think it'd be fun to put bacon or sausage in them, but diced ham was just easy this time. Um, this is also, this is one program I'm hoping to continue even when we start doing um, programs in person at the library again. It will still be virtual, so everyone will be able to attend from home. We don't know when we'll be doing programs in person, but we are starting to think about what that could look like. If you cut up all your stuff before the program, good job. But like I said, I wanted to um, just make sure that we were doing it all right from the start in case people had it. Um, other good ingredients that you could use in here would be chopped up spinach, like I said, bacon or sausage. Really, you could put any vegetables um, in here, and I think it would be good. Mm. That onion really made me, made me cry. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more green pepper. Um, I really like green pepper. I put it on everything. And then um, I'll do some tomatoes and we'll do the next step. Um, and if you missed it, I will be sending out the ingredients um, and the recipes afterwards, as well as the recording of this video in case you are following along and cooking at a later time. Okay, we're gonna stop there with the green pepper. 
And then I'm just gonna do a few cherry tomatoes. I always like to buy cherry tomatoes instead of the big ones, they're easier to cut. They do squish everywhere, but um, another option if you are doing tomatoes is to um, use them as garnish on top. So actually put them on after they're done cooking, but I want mine in there. I wish I could see how you guys are all doing right now, but um, it's just easier to do this program on a webinar version. So hopefully you're getting your ingredients cut up and you're ready to go. Last time I did this, I said it felt like I was on my own cooking show and it still kind of does feel like that. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more tomatoes and then we're gonna get ready for our eggs. So if you don't have your eggs out and you wanna grab those from the fridge, do that now, as well as your shredded cheese and anything else that was um, in the fridge that you might need. One other thing I didn't add, and this one was a tough one, um, is that if you wanna add a little bit of milk into your mixture, you can. Um, I'm not going to today, but that is an option. Okay, check where we're at here, perfect. I wanna make sure we get enough time to um, show you kind of the homemade butter process. So I'm going to do three more tomatoes, I think. You can tell I like green pepper. That's what I'm going to have the most of in here. And your chunks can be as big or as small as you want them to be. If you are making a double batch um, and you guys won't eat them all, you can freeze these. I'm sure ours will go fast. All right, so I'm gonna take off my headphones for one second um, after I cut this tomato so that I can go wash my hands really good and kind of move some stuff off my space. Um, and then we're gonna do the eggs. So eggs ready, garbage ready, or somewhere to put the shells. And we are going to assemble our egg cups. Okay, all right, one second. All right, um, so your next step is to just make sure you have kind of a, a clear workspace to do your eggs. I'm just gonna move my tomato and my onion. And before I put my eggs in, actually, I'm gonna put these cups in my muffin tin so that I am ready to go. So if you wanna grease your muffin tin um, or um, use cupcake liners, that is a good option. If you don't do that, that's okay too. Um, it will just help them to not stick to the pan. Okay. So our next step is to get our eggs. Mine are hiding. Um, and we are going to crack six eggs or 12 if you're making a double batch into our bowl. So I'm gonna move, oh, my oven is done preheating. Hopefully your guys's are close as well. I'm gonna move back a little bit, move this, okay. crack our eggs and I'm always messy when I'm cracking eggs so it's okay if you are too. That one didn't crack very well. So 
So four, five, and six. I'm gonna rinse off my hands again really quickly. I have a little towel. Um, and then the next thing that you're going to do is, I'm gonna move my eggs off the oven just in case. The next thing that you wanna do is just pour um, a little bit of salt and pepper. You can kind of just eyeball it. There are no specific measurements for it. And you're gonna use your whisk um, or your fork and mix these up. until they're nice and smooth. So almost like you're making scrambled eggs if you've ever made scrambled eggs. Okay. I think Mine's about mixed. I'll give everybody just a little bit longer to do your mixing, but we're getting to, uh, to the end steps here. And then we'll, I'll show you the butter demonstration. There's a fly in my kitchen. Okay. If you're um, all mixed up and ready to go, you can dump your ingredients um, into your egg mixture. So that includes anything that you cut up, um, any pre-sliced, I'm gonna kind of mix mine and see where we're at here. Okay. Um, and if you, ended up having too many ingredients and um, not enough eggs like I did, you can add more eggs, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple more eggs. Um, I haven't added my cheese yet and it's pretty full in here, so. We're gonna have egg cups to eat for breakfast for a while. And you can just mix them in if you add more eggs. Mm. Okay, and then I'm going to add Oh, that's right, I still have ham too. Mine are gonna to be so full of ingredients. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of ham. Maybe more eggs. About half my package of ham. I'm messy, so I'll rinse my hands again. Okay, and then now I'm gonna add my cheese. Um, I'm probably gonna add a half a bag of shredded cheese, um, so that way I can put some on top when they get a little closer to done. I love cheese, it's one of my favorite things. Okay, check the chat and Q&A, you guys are doing good. Um, let's see, mine still feels a little full to me. I could have just left out ingredients, but instead I'm just gonna add more eggs. Uh, 
Um, and then the last step, if you're done, is just to get this into your muffin tin. That uh, looks better. Um, spoon it into your muffin tin. And these are going to bake for 15 um, to 18 minutes. Obviously, all ovens are different, so make your, sure you're checking yours. And I am actually, let's see, yeah, going to pause there for a second. So like I said, the last step is to just pour it into your muffin tin. Um, but I want to show you um, one cool thing that I did today. So again, last step, pour into your muffin tin and then bake for 15 to 18 minutes. You want your eggs to be set and cooked. So that's the tip there. Um, but the last thing that I wanted to show you guys today is how to make homemade butter. And I did this today just as a practice experiment and it worked so well. Um, it takes about 15 minutes, so we won't be able to finish it today, but we can start it. So I'm going to get my muffin cups in the oven um, after we are done here. For the homemade butter, you will need a mason jar with a lid. And then I have to put my headphones down so I can get to the fridge right here. Okay. And heavy whipping cream. That's it. That's all you need to make homemade butter and maybe some salt if you really like salt. What you're going to want to do, um, you don't have to measure it out, but I would say earlier I used about a fourth cup um, in my mason jar. So I just eyeballed it. You pour in some whipping cream. So here's how much I used in my mason jar. So I, like I said, probably about a fourth cup. And this is gonna take all hands on deck if there's multiple of you in the house because it does take about 15 minutes. Um, I made my boyfriend do some of this today too. Um, there's a lot of shaking. So you're going to put the lid on your mason jar and make sure it's on tight. Okay, really tight. You can't turn it anymore. And then you're just gonna start shaking. And you do have to do this for about 15 minutes total. But the fun part is to open up your mason jar about every five minutes. So you could set a timer if you want um, to check to see the process. So it's going to start um, feeling less and less like liquid. And it kind of gets, I would say after about five to 10 minutes, it starts to get to a whipped cream like consistency. That's when I thought I was done, but I was wrong. You keep shaking for about five more minutes. It turns, it feels like it turns even more liquidy. Um, and then all of a sudden at about 15 minutes when you open this um, mason jar, there will be liquid in the bottom and um, a big ball of butter. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I took some pictures and I'll show you my final butter result. So, after about 15 minutes, this, oh, the lighting is bad. Let's see if I can get the lighting. This is what it starts to look like. So you can see that um, ball of butter and then you have what's called buttermilk left at the bottom. Uh, you'll want to strain it out if you can, if you have a strainer um, or if you can just even uh, dump the butter out into like a spoon or a slotted spoon. You just want to get that ball of butter um, by itself. So we went, we went from this to this. Um, and then I actually did try it on a piece of toast and it was good. You might want to add salt. I didn't add salt and thought it was delicious, but I did put the rest of it in the fridge and here's what it looks like. So it's kind of hard to, hard to see, but there's still some buttermilk dripping off of it. So that's what happens after 15 minutes of shaking this. And like I said, um, you'll think that you are 
done. It, it kind of looks like whipped cream. And you might think that that's all the farther it goes. But I promise you, if you keep shaking, um, and you have to shake pretty consistently for 15 minutes. That's why I said, um, take turns with the people in your house and kind of switch that jar around because it does get tiring. So if you have them with the handle, even better. Or you can just hold it and go like this. Um, I said it was my second workout for the day uh, after the gym this morning. So um, feel free to do that. We just have a couple minutes left. Um, I'm going to start spooning my eggs or my egg mixture, I should say, into my egg cups. But I am going to hang out here for a few more minutes if anybody has any questions. Um, again, I'll be sending out this recording and the recipes and the science behind this butter making um, so that you can kind of read about that. And if you don't have heavy whipping cream and want to try it at a later date, um, you can kind of read about that. So it's a lot of fun. I promise it's worth it after all the shaking. But um, that's all for today. Again, we're making um, homemade brownies in December. I think it's December 8th. It's the second Tuesday of December. So please sign up for that if you want to join us and all the ingredients are already listed. If it's not on the website, it will be November 1st. But um, that is all for today. So I'm going to stop recording. If you have any questions, um, feel free to post them. Otherwise, I will see you guys all at the next one.